Hey everyone, my name is Derek and I'm concerned about climate change. Dr. James Hansen and an international group of 18 premier climate scientists published a new study last Tuesday titled Ice Melt, Sea Level Rise, and Superstorms, warning that popular climate change projections vastly underestimate the speed at which humanity could be faced with fast-developing catastrophic effects driven by climate change. Those effects include near-term superstorms and multimeter sea level rise within 60 years, even if global warming peaks at 2 degrees Celsius over pre-industrial levels. In other words, we're in a lot of trouble. Hansen and his co-authors, quote, used numerical climate simulations, paleoclimate data, and modern observations to study the effect of growing ice melt from Antarctica and Greenland, end quote. They conclude that, quote, modeling paleoclimate evidence and ongoing observations together imply that two degrees Celsius global warming above the pre-industrial level could be dangerous, end quote. As Hansen makes clear in another essay published this week on scientific hand-wringing, though, he actually meant to say not that two degrees warming could be dangerous, but that it would be dangerous. The study's authors warn that continuing to force a warmer climate and melting in Greenland and Antarctica via fossil fuel emissions risks a shutdown of circulation processes in the North Atlantic and Southern Oceans. Now, normally, this process lessens what would be very strong temperature differences between equatorial waters and the polar waters. It also allows warm water near Greenland and Antarctica to rise from the depths due to its lower density and reach the surface and release heat from the oceans. However, when ice from Greenland and Antarctica melts in large quantities, cold fresh water is dumped onto the surface of the ocean. And because this cold fresh water is even less dense than the nearby warm ocean salt water, it forms a cold fresh water lens on the surface, as Hansen puts it, trapping the denser water, even though it's warm, beneath it. Unfortunately though, when you smash that warm salt water down near Greenland and Antarctica, it forces it under ice sheets that project out into the ocean from the shore and into contact with the area in which the ice sheets are grounded on the seafloor, and it begins to melt the ice away. The effect is like unstopping a cork. Once those grounding lines are melted, more and more ice can flow off the land into the water, where it's melted by the warm water, increasing the amount of fresh water on top of the water and exacerbating this effect. Now the study warns that this process is occurring much faster than predicted in climate models that are popular, and that we could very soon face at least two catastrophic effects from this disruption of normal ocean circulation. The most immediate effect is that the overturning circulation could severely slow or shut down. That would lead to increased temperature gradients between masses of water that are sitting right next to each other in the ocean. And that means the potential strength of storms that form in the North Atlantic would be much, much stronger. As an example of how strong these storms could get, Hansen and his team point to boulder hurling superstorms of geologic eras past. Characterizing this possible future, Hansen says in a new video that, quote, all hell would break loose in the North Atlantic and neighboring lands, end quote. Cooling that's observed already in the oceans near Greenland and Antarctica may indicate that this effect is already beginning. Even worse than the superstorms, though, would be the truly catastrophic, fast-moving sea level rise, which would destroy most major cities on the planet, since most major cities are on the coasts. According to the paper, continued warming and the attendant ice sheet melt that goes with it could lead to, quote, non-linearly growing sea level rise, reaching several meters over a time scale of 50 to 100 years, end quote, which would lead to the loss of most major cities and a massive refugee influx that could make human society ungovernable. As an example of how fast this could happen, Hansen sketches out a scenario in which we have multi-meter sea level rise within 60 years. Both of these catastrophic effects could result from just 2 degrees Celsius temperature increases from pre-industrial temperatures. In other words, the levels of warming that global leaders have decided are roughly acceptable and around which they've built their so-called carbon budgets could lead to one or two generation expiration dates for human civilization as we know it. Thanks for watching everyone. Please punch the subscribe button on this video and make sure that you stay updated on the latest climate science and opportunities for action. Thanks.